after which the measured voltage at the grid side is filtered in two stages. Firstly, it's passed through the first low pass filter, then in the next low pass filter before it is applied to the phase locked loop. So the phase locked loop has been implemented for the generation of the phase angle theta. The reference current is compared to the measured current and the error that is obtained is applied to the PI controller. The output of the PI controller is compared to the measured grid voltage and the output is applied to the pulse width modulator for the generation of the inverter switching pulses S1, S2, S3 and S4. To design a low pass filter, you can check in the video that we did last time which is also a single phase grid connected inverter but with a different implementation in that method we are implementing the single phase grid connected inverter in alpha beta reference frame so in today's design we are just changing the model that we did last time and now implement in the abc reference frame instead of the alpha beta reference frame We are connecting the connectors plus VDC. And minus VDC for the input voltage. Our input voltage is 400 volts DC. Okay, so we have the phase A and phase B. We connect the voltage measurement for the purpose of measuring the inverter voltage. And then for the current, for the purpose of measuring the inverter current. The filter that has been implemented is the same as that filter which we implemented in alpha beta reference frame and the calculations of the values can be checked in that same video. To measure the voltage at the grid side, we connect the voltage measurement parallel to the voltage source, which is the grid voltage. The measured voltage at the grid side is filtered in the first order filter. So when you go in the Simulink library, search for first order filter. Initialize filter state, you untick that and then change the time constant. You change the time constant to 1 over 2 pi 50. Using a three-phase phase locked loop, we can generate the phase angle theta, which ranges from 0 to 2 pi. We 
it's advisable that you use the three phase CLL. It's more stable, otherwise, you can design your own or you can check the video on how to design a phase locked loop. The reference current is compared to the measured current, which is the inverter current labeled as II, and the output is applied to the PI controller. the proportion again is 28 and the integral gain is 8. Remember when you're having oscillations in your signal you can change the proportion again. The overshoots are too much. Make sure you adjust your integral gain. Otherwise to design a PI controller the gain tuning method has been used where you adjust the proportion again and also adjusting the integral gain until you reach neutral stability to compare the carrier signal to the modulating signal in the implementation of the pulse with this modulator we use the relational operator
So our connections now are well done. So we can now run the simulation. And from the simulation, we see that the grid voltage is in phase with the inverter current. We can change our reference current to 20 and we see what we get. Okay, so here we see that we are getting 19.80, which is approximately 20. So generally, if you see there, we are getting 20. If we try to send the reactive power, we see that the current lags the voltage or leads the voltage depending on your reference current that you've put. If you've put the positive reference current or you put the negative re re reference current, then you have the leading or the lagging current respectively. If you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.